are all well today. I am coming to you with a Confessions of a Paper Edit Cut File Shop design team layout. And today I am using this super cute cut file with the kitty and it says snuggles. Oh my gosh, how pretty. So I just backed it with some paper and then I traced it with a black marker to define it a little bit more. And then I gave the little ears and the little nose a little dab of some pink Nouveau drops. Isn't that cute? I love it. And I'm going to scrap these photos of my kitten Biddy. Look at her with her piggies up. Looks like she's gone. Give me a pedicure, please. So cute. I'm using the October 2021 Hip Kit, which was one of my favorite kits ever. I love it so much. And I did print my photos in black and white because the blankets were all different colors and it just looked bad. So I'm going to go ahead and get my photo down with some ATG. This is going to be a quick and really fun layout. I just really like the colors and I wanted to do something a little bit different because I always use a white background so I wanted to use up my pattern paper. Look at this pattern paper. Here let me move the photo. Isn't that cool? I love that. So cool. So let me get some ATG on this and we'll make this layout together. All right there's that. Now before I put that down I want to make sure that it's where I wanted it with the cut file and I'm going to use the lines on the paper to make sure that I have this straight okay guys I have this all glued down isn't it look so cute I love it so much it's adorable so we're going to do a little bit of embellishing and I have a lot of stuff to look through through the kits and I have some super pretty flowers that I made with a Spellbinders metal die. Aren't those gorgeous? They have like five layers and I just cut those. I always use my scraps of paper from my kits. It's perfect for die cutting. So I think I'm gonna make a cluster here and here and a little something down here. So let's get going with that. And maybe we'll put one right here in the corner. I seem to do that all the time. I just like the way it comes out when you like corner a cluster like that. This like this, something like that. And then the metal dies also came with these pretty leaves and I use scraps for that too. And they're very light colored that I cut them out on, but I kind of like them that way. So let me see, I'll put one in here as well. That looks cute. That's done. All right, and then let's do a cluster up here. How cute would it be if we put like a little flower like right here? Kind of looks like it would be in the kitty's hair a little bit, like a little embellishment. You know how you put like bows and stuff on your dog? Wouldn't it be funny if you could do that to your cat? I don't think they would really like that too much, but... You could always try. All right, so I think I'm going to put three sets of leaves up here like this. And then, excuse my arm, this little embellishment that's in a little pot or a teacup. I thought if we slid that in there, it would give a little bit more color over there like that. Then I do have this so cozy. I'm not sure exactly where I want to put this. I was thinking maybe there, maybe. I'm not sure. And then look at this, it's so cute. It's a little kitty on a pillow. So I wanted to slide this under here as much as I could because I'm not really using that green color on my layout. So I kind of want to hide it and just have the kitty sticking out. Maybe put a flower down here. I think I've got one leaf left. So we'll put this here chipboard that says best photo maybe there I'm not super happy with that but you never know where I'm gonna end up putting stuff that doesn't look bad I think I like that a little bit better and then we can just scooch this down a little bit more like that pretty then we have this let's see if we can look through this a little bit these are what they're, they're like um, the acetate stickers, it feels like. 
um, phrases and tabs, but you can see right through them. And I like this one because it says you and me. And then it says you and me and a cup of tea. Well, I wasn't drinking tea, but she's so cute. She definitely likes her mommy alone time. So I always say to her, hey, want to go watch a movie? Just me and you, you and me. And then she's like, yeah, I'm going. So I'm going to put this right on the photo, I think. Oh, it looks good there. You can see it. Adds a little pop of pink and it says you and me. I always say that to her. So that's good. I don't think I need any more of these. Um, I do have some alphas from the kit, but I don't think... Maybe I'll put her name in those. What do I have here? Um, that's cute. This is so us. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. We'll see if I can get that in there somewhere. So it says, this is so us. It's just a little circle. I don't know where I would put it, though. Oh, I liked it. I like it tucked in there. Let's put that there. All right, I have puffies too from the collection. I don't know if I want to use any of these. I was wondering if maybe I could take some of the puffies and like slide them in like that just to give the clusters a little bit more green. I think I'll do that, but I want to glue these down before I finish that. They have the mixed media paint splatters. I don't think I want to use that on this. No. Nope going for fresh and clean look at all these amazing titles oh all the feels wonder where i can get that in hmm but here that doesn't make sense here Hmm. I think I'm going to hold on to that until I'm done gluing everything down. And they also have these super cute buttons. I was wanting to get those in there, but I don't know where I'm going to put them. So let me go ahead and get these things glued down, and then I think I'll be able to think better. Okay, I'm back. I have everything glued down. I think it came out super cute so far. I did everything like I said I was going to. I did put the puffies down like I said. I put some here and then I did put my title down because I very rarely do that on camera because I am horrible at it and I fight with my alphas so much. It's craziness. I found these bramble fox perspectives the blue hearts and i think they match perfect don't they look how nice they look with that alphabet so let's put a couple of these down we're going to do some splatters i'm going to do some pink fresh gems i think it would look really pretty with pink fresh gems and let's make sure i get this down without dropping them Put one there and then we'll put a little teeny one next to it let me see like that and then let's put one up here right in the pink area so you can really see it and then how about if we put one right above the me take up that little open space right there i think that would look cute this layout is adorable. It's definitely different than what I usually do, but that's okay. I like doing different things. Okay, I think these are all adhered down now. Yep, good. Let's do some splatters. I was thinking about gold, but then I thought, why not use pink? So this is Frosty Pink Altenew Ink Sprays. Okay, everything is all glued down and I did put a ton of pink fresh gems on there all over the place look how cute love it I just love the pink fresh gems they're so pretty and I used these three colors the black teal and pink and oh my gosh the last thing is look at 
like this. I can't even stand it. Oh my God. It is a little bow. They're called Perfect Bows from Spellbinders. And I put a little silver ring on there and that little pink heart charm. Oh my God. Look, how cute is this going to be? I can't stand it. A little bow on the kitty's neck. Have to do it. Have to do it, people. It is going to be adorable. I am going to adhere that down with glossy accents, though, because I fear that if I don't, it'll definitely come up. So I'm going to have to let that dry for a little bit. So put it right there on his little neck. Make sure we have it right. It's so cute. And then I am going to put some glossy accents underneath the heart too. Hopefully I don't ruin this. So a little dial up there because that way the heart won't move around and it'll be exactly where I want it to be if I could get it in my tweezers. Okay. Oh, I did it. I'm so clumsy. I have no idea how I did that. I think that's going to take a little bit to dry because it's metal. Please don't move. Please don't move. Okay, but stop it. Stop it with that bow. I can't even. Oh my gosh. So cute. I love it. So there's my layout, you guys. Very fun, quick, easy, awesome cut file. If you have a kitty cat that's in the Confessions of Paper Edit cut file shop, I'm going to link that shop below in the description box as well as our Facebook group. Come on over. And as of May 1st, we're starting to celebrate National International Scrapbook Day. And Virginia Walker is giving away free cut files to all the Facebook members. And come on over and join us, okay? I will put close ups at the end. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Thank you.